So, welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. In this blog, we're going to have a look at um, adding a Siemens compact field unit to a S7-1500 PLC. So, I've done a memory reset on the PLC. I'll put the link in the comments below showing you how to do that, but you can do it via the, uh, the push buttons on the front one of the easiest ways so I have TIA portal version 15 so I'm going to open that on my PC and I'm going to do uh, create a new project and I will call this demo 2 so we have a project called demo 2 So, one of the first things that I want to do is to add a new device. And I'm going to put a PLC on here, which I, which I have, um, and a HMI. I'm going to choose it from the library. I don't actually have a connection to a HMI on this project hardware-wise, but I'm just going to use use one to show you how you can simulate and uh, add devices. So if we have a look at my, the front of my PLC, I've already assigned it IP addresses using primary setup tool. So I have a 1500 CPU. It is a 316, you can see there. And I have firmware 2.6, but I haven't um, updated my hardware support package but 2.5 will be adequate for what we're doing so there's a slight mismatch on the uh, firmware so all I need to do is to assign an IP address and for this particular pod project I'm plugged into X1 so 5.1 and that's my Profinet port so if I do a compile, I want to compile all the hardware. So once I've compiled all the hardware, I need to do a download. Am I going? into slot one so what you can do just to make sure you're connected to the right PLC just in case um, you've got multiple PLCs uh, you, you might have a hot standby PLC or something like that I can actually flash the three LEDs on the front of the unit to make sure I'm, I'm working on the correct one which I am I'll load that hardware and a blank OB1 to the PLC. So if I go online now, I can see that the PLC is in stop, but it's okay. So now my PLC is in is in run. So that's the first stage. I'm just going to go offline because I'm going to now add a HMI. And I'll go to my old faithful 7-inch comfort. The latest firmware on there. And this will take you through a wizard to set up some basic screens. Okay. As you can see, it's going to put the date and time, and I've got the option for a company logo. I want an alarm window. I want a root screen, so this is just setting your home screen. So the one that it, the HMI, when it powers up, it will power up on this screen. 
And then I've ticked that um, from my root screen, I want to be able to get to system screens and, and system settings. Um, you can select other options here. Okay. Uh, stop runtime is 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 always a good option because it takes you back to the to the Windows CE desktop. Okay. So where do I want my buttons on the bottom? And then I'm going to finish. Once I've done that of things I need to do. So if I go to my device and networks, I just need to, to link those. And then I compile all my hardware on the HMI. So I have my HMI added to the project. Just make sure I'm offline. Uh, the next thing I need to do is to add my compact field unit which is my Profinet to Profibus PA. Now if you're not sure of the IP address because obviously the compact field unit as you can see on the right hand side has no display um, so you need to know what IP address it is. So you can use primary setup tool but you can also use online diagnostics so if I just update, update my devices it will scan what is connected to this network and I can see there there's my compact field unit with my IP address if I go to online diagnostics, you'll see under here functions. I can assign a, its address. I can assign it a name and I can reset to factory defaults. Okay. Once this is in data exchange, I mean, I won't be able to do this. Okay. So at the moment it's not connected and not talking, so I'll be able to do it. But I don't want to change it. I'm leaving it at those addresses. So if I go back to my devices, it's in a weird place. You, you would have thought it'd be on to distributed IO it's actually it's actually on the um, other field devices Profinet IO and then um, there's your IO compact field unit there so when I drag that in I need to assign it an IP address which if we remember is 5 33. I also need to give it a name. I don't want it to be generated automatically. So it was actually compact field unit CFU PC stand. Now if I just want to double check that, I can go to my online diagnostics and I can I can see it there. I'll just close that down. So that's that. Then I just physically make my connection to my master. Okay, so there we go. I have my device. Um, to add my instruments to it, I double click. And then the tricky part is finding where your slot index table is. So it's actually hidden here with this little button. So expand it. If I go to Modules, Profibus PA. We're connecting a P300 Siemens pressure transmitter, which has one process value. If I drag that into the table, I can see there, this name here comes from this list. It's purely text. And this is the name that will appear in your project and also on the display of the 1500 PLC when you start uh, looking at the diagnostics. So we've, we have that. And now, if I compile all my hardware and software, compile my hardware, sorry. So, in my project, I have my PLC with an Ethernet address 5.1, HMI, Ethernet address 5.2 and my compact field unit 5.33 so I'm going to do a hardware compile and I'm going to do a download so my PLC is in run so if I go online I can see the PLC, obviously the HMI is physically not there. 
there's my compact field unit and if I click on to this now I can see there's my P300 what I need to do now is get that data into my HMI um, this is a bit of a structure so I can't drag and drop it from here I've got to say set some PLC tags so I'm going to add a new tag table um, to remember to go offline and I'm going to call that profit was PA values what you can do here if you've got a terrible memory like me you can get a split screen and I'm going to call this P300 value and it is a real so it requires no scaling so I have to set the format so it's an input it's a double and if we have a look here it's starting off at one so I'll apply that and then P300 status just need to put the right address in there so it's a byte and it is the last part of that which is 5 so that's the standard format for a Profibus PA or DP process value. You get a real floating point value and a status byte. And because this is all in the peripheral memory area, I don't have to use any special blocks like DP read, DP write. It, those are going to be coming straight back um, into the PLC with no additional functions required. So. I just have to compile and download that. And if I put this screen in into run, sorry, I saw problems here. Okay, so I can see those values are good stretch this around so you can see everything and I can see my process values so my my status byte hex 80 is healthy so if I just push down on this pressure transmitter I can see there the update date times there's nothing wrong with those everything is coming back into my PLC so to get that into my HMI don't forget to go offline it's up to you how you do it. If you have a look on the HMI, you will see screens. And there's my root screen. So the easiest way is to drag and drop. So there's my two PLC tags. In they go. It's up to you what you do with the status byte. I'm just bringing it back to 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 show you it. Um, if you look at your um, diagnostics on your HMI, which I show you, how you can do, um, it will bring back the status whether the instrument's healthy or not. But the status byte, you can use that to look up to see what the actual fault is. But PDM will do that for you. That's so. You know, really, we only need the um, the process value, which just to show you. So, once we've got to the HMI, and we've done that. Don't forget, um, we'll do a compile. But if we do simulation, it should do a compile for us first. I can see there it's compiled. Okay, connection established. I can see my process value, and everything is now working. Don't forget my HMI will be reading the process values by default a little bit slower than what it is directly into my PLC um, tag table. So that's it. So no scaling required, no scale X, norm X blocks or anything like that. You just drag and drop the process value into to your um, project 
and if you decide to change that pressure transmitter for another pressure transmitter so another manufacturer another type you plug it in there's no scaling to do because you don't have to scale uh, pressure transmitters on profibus it will automatically just keep bringing back that value but the, the beauty of it is it's always more accurate there's no scaling so i'm not going to get any scaling errors but i also get my my status byte so we can have a look at our alarm status there so i'm going to close that down and then i'm just going to um save my project and we'll use this project in other blogs i'm going to add the um uh, Surex card that's on the side of the uh, the 1500 and I'm going to show you how to drag that data from a from a reference project but for now that's how you set up a uh, compact field unit on a 1500 PLC thank you for listening